That third unidentified object that was spotted over Haver on Saturday was shot down just one day later over Lake Huron in Michigan, and we still have no idea what it is. I spoke with two MSUB astronomers who say that this object could be anything, anything but aliens. Just when you thought the world couldn't get any crazier, it has. Welcome to 2023, where mysterious objects in the sky have taken the world by storm. People's fears, people's conspiracy theories, they're going to spread with a speed that is completely unprecedented. 20 years ago. Stuart Snyder and Stephen Wiles are physics and astronomy professors at MSU Billings. They're used to discussing objects unknown. As long as it's not carrying a nuclear warhead, I think, you know, let's not, not get too bent out of shape about it. But answers or a lack of them from the federal government isn't helping. There is no, again, no indication of aliens or extraterrestrial activity with these recent takedowns. At a White House briefing Monday, Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre addressed the question that so many have been asking. Her statement following this from the commander in charge of North American Aerospace Defense Command. I'll let the intel community and the uh, counterintelligence community figured that out. I haven't ruled out anything. General Van Herc does say an object spotted near Haver, Montana this weekend and later shot down over Lake Huron was octagonal in shape and not a balloon like the one over Montana one week ago. These are objects. Uh, I am uh, not able to categorize how they stay aloft. Back at MSU Billings, Professor Snyder and Professor Wiles don't have any better answers, but they theorize the objects are nothing new. I imagine there's quite a lot floating around and only now that the military has started to really pay attention have we started seeing, well, there's quite a few of these things and we don't know what they are or where they're coming from. To think that there are aliens visiting us from another planet, it's ridiculous. I mean, frankly, it's just flat out ridiculous. But with few answers from the federal government, the conspiracy theories and speculation will likely continue. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.